In this video we're gonna talk about focus stacking and what you can do in your home with pretty simple methods. And I'm also gonna talk about a product that makes it possible to do a focus stack completely automatically. So you don't even have to be in the room. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Focus stacking is when you combine many shots with a short depth of field to get one shot with a very deep depth of field. And you simply take a lot of pictures and combine them together in a software. And this can be a very tedious process. And as you might know, I'm kind of a lazy person. So I got myself a Cognizant stack shot. It has a small controller which connects to your camera and to a focusing rail and it automatically moves the camera forward in increments that you decide beforehand and it automatically takes a photo uh, for every increment. So basically you can just start it and leave the room and the whole stack will be created for you. And the only thing you will have to do in the end is to uh, take the photos and put them into a software like Helicon Focus to combine them together. So this makes the whole process a lot simpler, even though I would say it's still a lot of work to create one photo. Not only do you have to spend a lot of time creating the composition, which is kind of cumbersome when you have a tripod and a very small subject, you also need to take care to choose the right step length so that you don't get these issues that you see in this photo here, that there are some bands that are blurry. Uh, I would recommend you to go look at the table that I have linked in the video description where you can see exactly what step length you need, uh, which means what depth of field you have for a certain aperture and magnification. Then when you have taken all the pictures, which can in some cases be several hundred, you can just drop them into a software like Helicon Focus or Serene Stacker. Of the two, Helicon is my favorite because I feel that it is uh, a bit easier to use and a bit more intuitive in general and I also think it gives slightly better results. Uh, but your mileage may vary. It costs a little bit of money but I think it is a great tool for focus stacking. This is a piece of glass that I found in the Mediterranean Sea on a beach. And today I tried photographing various objects that I found laying around in my apartment. And another thing I discovered was that uh, there are a lot of things that you think will look cool or beautiful when you shoot them at five times magnification, but most things don't. It's really hard to take a beautiful photo of a household item. Uh, not only do you need to find something that looks interesting or cool, you also need to put it in the correct angle and use good light. This is some uh, grains of salt and uh, here I'm trying a, a lightning cord uh, that charges my iPhone. And uh, this Cognosys system, uh, I think it is really well made in the sense that it really does the job perfectly. It seems to have very good precision and you only have to define the start and end point of your stack and then you just let it start and you can define then the step length and it will do the rest for you. And the only uh, complaint I have about the Cognizant stack shot is uh, first of all the price. It is a bit pricey. It will cost you around five or six hundred dollars or somewhere around there. And don't forget to buy a shutter cable for your camera that is not included in uh, the kit. The kit contains the controller and uh, the rail and uh, cables for that, but not the cable that actually takes the photo in your camera. Anyway, the rig worked perfectly. I'm really happy with this product. My second complaint about it is that it is very unintuitive to use. I mean, the menus are really, really bad and it takes a while for you to get comfortable using them. But when you are comfortable, they work great. And the rig never failed me during my two day test here. Uh, it just worked great. High precision is really 
important. As you can see here, I just need to step on the floor to wobble the whole photo at five times magnification. So uh, what I quickly learned to do is to just start the focus stack and then go grab a cup of coffee or something while uh, the stack shot finishes everything. Uh, these are the kinds of pieces of glass that I found uh, on the beach in Malaga that I found to be pretty nice subjects for focus stacking. This is a piece of glass that is around 5 mm uh, in width and here is a small stack of them. And these are my favorite shots from today. I love how they came out, I love the colors and the detail. I uh, actually used a little bit of glycerol here, or glycerin it's called. It's like a liquid that you can use that stays around for much longer than water. So it can also be great to make small drops that you can photograph. They will stay in place uh, a lot better and longer. And this is a liquid that you can get at a pharmacy. It is edible and not dangerous at all. I think it's actually used in, in candy and other things. And it's great to make small drops to photograph. And it was actually one of you guys that tipped me about this in the YouTube comments. So thank you for that. I often feel that I learn as much from you guys as you learn from me. This photo did not come out great, but this is at least a drop of glycerol. And here is the salt shot I showed earlier. Um, yeah, anyway, there is a lot of work involved in creating a stack, even though you have a stack shot that takes care of all the photos, that is a lot of work in itself. But I found that rigging a shot that to create the right diffusion and the right light and everything, it often took like 20, 25 minutes or something like that, and a lot of uh, trial and error. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, my favorite place to build websites and to get domains for them. Squarespace is a tool where you can very easily create your own website, no matter if it's a portfolio, a web shop or any other kind of website. They have many beautiful templates and it's very easy to get started. They have nice features like analytics and as I said, you can even start your own web shop in there to sell stuff. And uh, yeah. For photographers, I think there aren't any better tools out there. I looked around for a long while before I found Squarespace and I think no other service has as beautiful templates as them. And uh, I actually was using them before they asked to become a sponsor of this channel. So I'm really happy about them being a sponsor. Try it for free. And when you're ready to sign up for real, use my code Michael Wydell for a 10% discount. Thank you, Squarespace. So as I mentioned, there is a lot of work in setting up a shot for doing a focus stack. And it's also a lot of work in post. Very often you get uh, weird artifacts, especially when you're photographing shiny objects like uh, this little piece of glass here. You often get like weird artifacts that you have to kind of uh, get rid of in uh, Photoshop or Lightroom afterwards. Uh, so if you want to um, get the best results with the least amount of work, try to photograph things that are not shiny. <laughs> then you will get nice results out of the box. So my conclusion here is that I don't really think focus stacking is for me. I am so impatient. I love the feeling of just running around and spending like just a few seconds on every photo. Spending like 20, 30 minutes on a photo, it's not really for me. I, I think I'm just <laughs> too impatient for that. But I do have to say that you can get some incredibly cool results with this. And uh, it would be very interesting to try on a dead insect uh, or something else that is alive. Here's actually a, a grain of rice. Do you see that? And here is a coin. Yeah, anyway. Uh, you can get very cool results, but it is a lot of work involved and there is a bit of a learning curve. And I'm really happy I got the stack shot. I would probably do more focus stacking in the future, but maybe not every day or even every month. But every now and then I think I will bring out my stack shot and uh, do some photos. Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you're considering a stack shot, if you have done a lot of focus stacking and think it's a bit tedious to uh, 
increment the rail uh, hundreds of times yourself, then I think it's really worth the money. It's a great product uh, if you have the need for it. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget my free photography newsletter over at mwro.com. See you in a week. Over and out. Bye.